If you're having problems with strangers hijacking your Bluetooth speakers, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. In some cases, it's obvious what's happening because you can hear someone else's music or phone calls through your speakers. This is especially a problem if you live in a densely populated area like an apartment building or condo, since you've got so many people in range of your speakers. My nearest neighbor is at least four or 500 feet from my home, but somehow somebody's Bluetooth is hijacking my speakers. These are Clips Pro Media speakers I've set up in my garage. I have them connected to my TV through an audio jack, but the speakers also have Bluetooth. I was intermittently getting no sound for hours at a time. I thought the speakers were on their way out. But what tipped me off to the Bluetooth problem was this beep and this blue light. On the Clips speakers, those things mean that something is connected through Bluetooth and Bluetooth overrides the audio jack. Now the problem with a lot of Bluetooth speakers is they have an open connection, which means you're not required to enter a password or confirm pairing in order to connect to the speakers. So anyone can connect to the speakers without permission. I'm sure most people aren't doing this on purpose, but imagine how many times you've tried to hook up to a Bluetooth device and they all have cryptic names. So it's easy to see how someone could accidentally hook up to your speakers. On the Clips Pro Media speakers, the volume and subwoofer control houses the board that has the Bluetooth receiver. The volume control is originally attached under one of the speakers. I had detached mine and mounted it under the TV. First, open up the volume control. Then remove the board from the housing. On the back side of the board, there's a squiggly line. That's the Bluetooth antenna. This is what the Bluetooth antenna looks like on most circuit boards. Now you can shorten the range of that antenna or you can disable it entirely. Let's say you still want to use Bluetooth and you don't mind having to put your device right next to the receiver. You can shorten the antenna. Scrape away until you've broken the copper trace to cut off part of the antenna. If it's still too sensitive, shorten it some more. In my case, I didn't want Bluetooth at all since I was connected through an audio jack. So I broke the resistor right at the beginning of the antenna. And that's how you stop people from hijacking your Bluetooth speakers.